beloved, we are here again to listen to the infallible word of God that is placing our feet on the paths of righteousness. Thank God for his messages. I have been talking about the things we do because we don't know God. And you can understand from the last episode, if you listen to that one, that because we don't know God, we find it difficult to believe Him. Today, I want to pick another point. Why we do certain things because we don't know Him. So, let me continue to show you something as we turn our Bibles to the book of Genesis again. Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. After the woman listened to the demon uh, Lucifer and God was talking to the woman, hear what the Lord said. Verse 16 of Genesis chapter 3. To the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband and he shall rule over you. Aye. Verse 17. Then to Adam he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you saying you shall not eat of cursed is the ground for your sake in toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life both thorns and thistles shall bring forth for you and you shall eat the herb of the field. Verse 19 says, In the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. Amen. If you see what the Lord is saying here, God rained curses on the woman and God rained curses on the man for one simple reason. is because they had disobeyed his commandments. So what I'm saying today is that people sin against God because we don't know him. We sin against almighty God because we don't know him. Why did they do that? The demons knew something Adam and Eve didn't know. Before I say what I'm going to say, you have to understand and agree with me that if someone lived, listen to what I'm saying, if someone lived in the house, that you have just rented. Understand that the person knows the house more than you. You have just been a tenant in the house. And someone has already been there long time before you came. Understand that he knows the house more than you. That is to say that demons have been where we want to go. They have been where we want to go. They have been in heaven and been with God. So they know what he likes and dislikes. What I want to say is that after the Lucifer led rebellion, God drove them away from his presence. That is to tell us that God hates people or his creation from disobeying his word. God hates that. Because God created them as angels and, the, and did not want them to overtake 
or take his place or position. God did not rule or create them for that purpose. So for them to take a, such a stand, it meant that they broke the rules of God. Therefore, God drove them out of his presence. So when they came down here, and God created Adam and Eve in his own image and likeness, they, they saw that, hey, we know something these people don't know. Listen, when, when we, we disobeyed his rules, he sucked us from his presence. So let us cause these people to do the same. We will force them to, to break his word. They don't know that this one, when you break his word, he will, he will not like you. So let us push them to break his word. That is what I'm talking about. Because we don't know God that he dislikes sin, demons are pushing people to sin against him. For your information, my God is holy. There's no iota of sin in him. So if you go to church where the pastor knows nothing about demons, I tell you, you will be indulging in demonic characters all the time. And God will be angry with you without your knowledge. That is why I thank God for giving me opportunity to know more about demons. That is why I've written a book about them. So please, purchase a copy of my book and you'll be very much enlightened. Any pastor who knows demons very well can help and inform the church people so much to be aware of their operations. Because they are pushing humanity to do things they know that God hates. So today, what I'm saying is that because we don't know God, demons are pushing us to sin against him. And what is sin? Please, simply put, sin is breaking God's law. That's all. If you break the laws of God, you have sinned. Or refusing to listen to what God said. That is what we call sin. So, the demons sinned against God. The demons, they sinned against God by refusing to remain in their domain. That is why God sacked them from his presence. So, the demons are doing the same to human beings. And you know, let me pause here to tell you, every preacher, every so-called preacher who will be telling you, oh, God is gracious. Oh, you can sin and God will forgive you. Oh, you see, God is merciful. God is gracious. I'm telling you that that preacher doesn't know God. He doesn't know my God. Maybe he's preaching for another one. But my God hates sin. So, those of us who know God, will never tell sinners who come into his presence to continue to indulge in sin because God is merciful. That was why Apostle Paul said, if even God is gracious, we will not continue to sin and let grace abound. We will not do that because we know that God hates sin. Because demons know that human beings don't know that side of God, they are pushing human beings to sin against God. So as I said, sin has to do with breaking God's law or refusing to abide by his rules. That is why God sucked the, uh, the demons or the angels from his presence. Today, demons are causing us to do the same. In this era of the coronavirus, people are being pushed by demons to sin against God. We are sinning against God. You ask me, oh, pastor, in what way? In the sense that God has said something and we are refusing to abide by what he said. What did he say? 
Psalm 91. I've been saying it all the time. Psalm 91, verse 6. He started by saying in verse 5 that we should not be afraid. Listen. God Almighty, the one who created the heavens and the earth, he is the one talking here. He said in verse 5 of Psalm 91 that we shall not be afraid. Of what? Let me jump to verse 6. We should not be afraid of pestilence. God is talking. That walks in darkness. And the other time, I explained what the word pestilence means. It means the word they are using now, pandemic. Pestilence is the same as pandemic. A deadly disease that affects all people. A communicable disease. God says his people should not be afraid. But now, looking at what people are doing in this time means that we have decided not to obey what God said. And that is a sin. Demons are putting fear in people that we have decided to live in fear instead of living in peace. If God says don't, be, don't fear and you are afraid, you have sinned. That is simply the meaning of sin. I always put it this way. If God says sit down and you stand, you have sinned. In other words, if God says stand and you sit, you have sinned. So sin is simply put, refusing to heed what God says. Refusing to do that. So demons are causing people in this time of the coronavirus to heed what God says. He said we should not be afraid. So I'm, I'm here to tell you, all the people who are afraid now in this era have sinned against God. Why? Because you are going against his word. He said you should not be afraid. So if you are afraid, you have decided not to listen to him. And that is what demons are doing to us. Just as they did to Adam and Eve in the garden. You see, Adam and Eve didn't know that side of God. I'm sure they will learn a big lesson after God rained curses on them and drew them out of his presence. Just as it happened in heaven. The same way, when the demons sinned, God kicked them out of his presence. So when Adam and Eve also sinned, God kicked them out of garden. So heaven was the garden. The garden of Eden was God's heaven. Just as in heaven, he kicked them in the spirit. Physically, the garden of Eden was the heaven of Adam and Eve. So God also kicked them out because they sinned. So we as human beings living now should understand that the demons will be pushing us to sin against God. And we shouldn't do that at all. If you know God, you will never do anything that is sinful in his presence. Why? Let me show you something. Let's go to 1 John. 1 John chapter 3. Verse 8 says that he who sins is of the devil. In other words, he who sins is of a demon. Demons push people to sin against God. So any church you go to that the pastor is pampering sinners, it means that pastor is induced by demons. You can come in as a sinner, but I will tell you or admonish you to stop. Simple. I will never tell you to continue to sin. So that is why he said, if you sin, you have the devil. Then he says, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Jesus came on the face of this earth to destroy the works of the devil. And what is the, the works of the devil that he came to destroy? That is sin. And what is the sin I mean? Is refusing to abide by the word of God. So in, a, 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 in summary, Jesus came to destroy that attitude where people refuse to live according to the word of God. Simple. 
You can understand what I mean. Jesus came to abolish that attitude. That hey, now that I'm here on earth, that way of life that you always uh, refuse to listen to God's word, that thing is gone. Eh? It will never happen again here. Why did, did the Lord say that? Let me tell you something. Let me continue to read from verse 9 of First John chapter 3. Whoever has been born of God does not sin. Hallelujah. You do, you will not sin against God. Why? Listen to the reason. For his seed remains in him. Hallelujah. The seed of God remains in us. So if his seed remains in us, it means, what is the seed? The seed is his nature of holiness. God is holy. So if you have his seed, you will never sin. So all those people who are pampering yourselves, that, oh, I see, but you can sin and God will forgive you. If you continue, you have a nature of demons because they are continuously sinning. For them, they don't stop. Demons keep sinning. There's nothing good in them. They cannot do anything good. So if you profess to be a Christian and you keep sinning, I'm telling you that you have the nature of demons in you. In other words, if you have God in you and his sin and nature in you, you will not sin against him. What I mean is that you will never live with the attitude of refusing to abide by what he says. You will never have that attitude. Because that attitude is demonic. It was demons who, who said, we, are, we will not be, Lucifer said, I will not be singing for you to nod your head all the time. I will not do this again. We, want to, we also want to stay where you are. Uh, we will not abide by what you said. So anybody with that attitude has demons in him. Don't you know we have people like that? Any rule you set, they refuse to obey by it. We have people like that. Whatever rule you, you say, you, you lay down, they will not abide. That is how the demons operate. So, John was telling the church at that time that because we have the seed of God, we will not sin. And listen to what he said. He said, he cannot sin. You see, because he has been born of God. It's John chapter 3, verse 9, I just read. Because you have been born of God, you will not sin. Then he went on to say in verse 10 that in this, the children of God and the children of the devil are manifest. That means the differences between those who know God and those who don't know God is one word, sin. That was what John wanted to tell the believers of his day, sin. If you continue to live in sin, it means you don't have a seed. And what I mean that demons are, are, are causing us to sin against God in this era of coronavirus is just Psalm 91. Just that. Just this verse has caused many people to sin against God. He said we should not be afraid. But you see, people are afraid. It means you have decided not to listen to what God is saying. If you, It's like you are sitting down with your child and you say, don't be afraid. Eh? I'm here. Nothing will happen to you. And the child begins to shiver and begins to tremble in his presence. It means the child is refusing to listen to what you said. And that is what humanity you are doing now. You are trembling in the presence of demons. You are afraid. Just a virus. My God, a virus. And he said, he said, oh, we should not be afraid of any pandemic. Ah, so it's better to go into his church and say, hey, remove the nose mask. Let us pray in faith because according to God's word, we will not be afraid. So listen, the serious group of people I continue to hammer them are the pastors. You have sinned against God big time because you have accepted to wear no marks in his presence. That is contrary to Psalm 91. Why? If God asks you the other time, why are you doing this? Say, Lord, I'm afraid I might, I might catch a virus. You are afraid. You have decided to live outside the word of God. So you have sinned. All presidents who have directed people to wear no marks in the church have also sinned against God. Because you are living outside his word. 
and all medical doctors who have also said people should wear nose masks. You have also sinned against God. So what I, I came here today to tell you is simple. Demons know that you don't know as a human being that God hates people who have the attitude of deciding to refuse or not to live by his word. They know we don't know that. If you know him, you will never do that. So please, I know my God. That is why in Ashim Power, we say holiness is the key. Holiness. I teach people how to live holy. It is the key to God's presence. That is why we are holy. We teach people holiness. If you are holy, please don't be afraid. Let them report. So, so and so people are dead. So, so and so people are dead. But you will be walking chest out and say, no harm will come near me because I believe in the word of God. That is why Ashim Power, we are here to tell you that with God, all things are possible. God bless you. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you have been enlightened. To hear more, you may subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to see more videos. Pastor Kukudatsi has written a very informative book called How Demons Operate. Grab yourself a copy to know how they operate and know how to liberate yourself from demonic oppression. To stay in contact with us, you can reach us through these details. God bless you.